One of the really good questions that I frequently get on this is that you know cell phone use went way up in, in, the, in the last decade, but crashes actually went down a little bit. And if it's so dangerous to use a cell phone while driving, if, it's four time, if you're four times more likely to crash, which is what the research says, why haven't crashes just spiked? How could they possibly go down? And you know what, on the surface, that's a great question. But if you think about it a little bit, the premise of the question implies that that nothing has been done to reduce crashes. And a tremendous amount of things have been done to reduce crashes, especially in the last 10 years. If you look at vehicle technology, we've got analog brakes and airbags and, and uh, seat belts, and, and those two don't reduce crashes, but they reduce fatalities, and, and fatalities have gone down a little bit too. And we've got stability control, and uh, we've got lane departure warnings, and we've got blind spot warnings, and on and on and on. All of that stuff has, has come in our vehicles in the last 10 years. Our roadways have become a lot safer. We're building more roundabouts, which, which are, cause much less serious crashes when there's a crash in an intersection. We've got um, center lane deflection reflectors we've got we've got lane departure rumble strips all of that stuff has become more more prolific in the last 10 years um, we're doing things to help drivers behave better we you know we've got high visibility enforcement for seatbelt use and driving under the influence we we enforce driving under the influence more than we ever have so all of that has come about in the last you know 10 to 15 years but in that time our crashes and our fatalities per mile driven have stopped declining at the rate they were prior to that. They've been declining dramatically since the 1950s, and in the last 10 years, it's kind of leveled out a little bit. Maybe that's because we've introduced cell phones. Um, they have become more prolific. Um, in the year 2000, about 2% of all drivers were on a cell phone, and now we think it's closer to about 10%. So it's gone up substantially, and during that exact same time, we saw that curve flatten out as far as crashes being reduced and fatalities being reduced. Um, there's a lot of really smart people in the auto industry, in the safety community, in the uh, highway engineering field who have been working to reduce the number one killer of teens, the number one cause of accidental death in this country, and all of their hard work has made great progress.